Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export data from SQL Server to XML file using SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Fezan Majid and he asked, can you please make a video about converting SQL table data to XML format and then exporting it to XML file. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got a table customer table and this is the data so it contains 1000 records and these are the columns like id first name last name email and gender so i want to export the data from sql server table to the xml file so if you have noticed that uh, in the ssis in data flow task we have the xml source so the xml source can read data from xml file but we don't have the xml destination in ssis so it's not easy directly to write the data to the XML file. So maybe we can use either C sharp language to export the data to the XML file or there are some third party components as well. Those can export data to the XML file. But the third party components will charge for their license. So I think it's easy to use the C sharp because that's free. So you can use the C sharp language to export the data to the XML file. So let's see how we can do that. So I will be exporting the data to an XML file at this location, DE files location, okay. So I have already written some code here that I will just show you and will execute it and then I will copy this code into an SSIS package. So let me just briefly tell you this is just couple of lines of code. So these two lines are related to the logging. So I am using a log folder, DE files logs folder. So in case if the code will fail at any point of time, then what will happen that an error log underscore current date time dot log file will be created and the error message will be written to that particular log file. So this particular path is fully dynamic. You can provide any appropriate path here. Okay. And this is the main code which we are using to export the data to the XML file. So what we are doing, this is the connection string. So this is my SQL server instance name and this is database name and we are using the windows authentication here and now inside this particular query i am using select star from customer table so i am selecting the data from the customer table but you can select data from multiple tables as well maybe using a join you can select the data from multiple table okay and then this is the sql connection variable sql command sql data adapter and then in this particular code what we are doing, we are just opening a connection and this is the data table name. Table name inside the XML will be customer here. And then what we are doing, we are filling the adapter with the data table and then finally writing the data to the customer.xml file at the D files location. And then we are closing the SQL connection. So this is pretty straightforward code. And if you want to execute the same code on different environment, then you can just provide your SQL Server instance name, database name, you can provide your SQL query, you can provide the data table name for the XML and the path of the XML file to be created. So these are the things that you need to provide and at the moment no XML file exists at the files location but this will create a customer.xml file after execution of this particular code. So let me click on the start button and this should execute the code. So the process ran fine and it should have created a customer.xml file. So let me open this particular file. Maybe I can open it within the Microsoft Edge. So the file is being opened. Yeah, so the file has been opened and this is the XML file. And I have tested like importing this data back to the SQL server table using SSIS using the XML source. And I'm able to import this data correctly using the SSIS. So this is a valid XML file and uh, yeah this is how you can just export the data from the SQL server table to the XML file and I will share this code with you and now let me just create a SSIS package and just try to execute the same code in the SSIS package inside a script task. So what I can do I can copy the name of the SSIS package from here and let me open the visual studio 2019 create a new project integration services project I can select this location I can paste the project name create so this will create a blank SSIS package for me so the blank SSIS package has been opened let me close this one 
And now let me drag and drop the script task into the control flow window because in the script task we can just simply paste the code from the C Sharp console app. So I can right click and click on edit. Here the scripting language is the Microsoft Visual C Sharp so that's fine. I can click on edit script and it will open the script editor for me. So the script editor has been opened up and I can go back to the C Sharp console app and I can copy the code from here and I can paste the code at this particular location. So the code has been pasted and uh, I think it should be missing some namespaces. Okay, yeah, so it is missing the namespaces for the SQL connections, show potential fixes using system.data.sql client. So this is good. For the stream writer, it should be missing system.io. So I can add system.io here. So I think now we are good. All the errors are gone and we are good to execute the package. So I can go to the file menu, click exit and uh, I can click on OK. So this will save the code for us. And now we are good to execute the SSIS package. So before doing that, let me just delete the existing customer.xml file and now let me execute the SSIS package. So this particular SSIS package now should export the data from the SQL server table to the XML file. So the package ran very quickly and let me go back to the D files location and I can see an XML file here customer.xml and I can open this particular file maybe in the Microsoft Edge again and let's see yeah so the file is good and uh, it has all the 1000 records data in it okay and this is the name of the table customer table that we given yeah so I think this is good that there are just few lines of code and it can export the data easily into the XML file from the SQL server table. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.